Hi, and welcome to the final beta and demo of the AAP client for OS X. If you've been following AquaConnect news lately, you know that AAP stands for Aqua Accelerated Protocol. It's our own proprietary protocol, and it's what we've been working on for over eight months here at AquaConnect. AAP does everything RDP does, but with a few very big differences. First, AAP uses a lot less bandwidth, and it's a lot faster. We also throw in features like local disk access, the ability to use USB thumb drives, and most importantly, support for iMovie, Final Cut, and GarageBand. We have 99.2% application compatibility now with the AAP protocol. So let's get into it and show you what this all looks like. So we'll go here, launch the AAP client. Keep in mind, this is the final beta version. So this login window will look different. It'll be cleaned up by our UI designers. But for now, we just want to show you it working and show you the good stuff. As this connects, I'm going to also bring up Activity Monitor. Reason for this is we're going to want to take a look at the data received and sent to take a look at how much bandwidth we're actually using in the session. Now that we're logged in, let's open Finder. And we'll go to our Applications, Cover Flow View. Let's take a look at how fast those animations work. As you can see, animations are pretty instant. Everything feels like a local session. A big thing in the past with RDP was dragging around windows, and you get a lot of fragmentation and screen redraw loading. As you can see here, I can go as fast as I want, and it's all like a local desktop experience. While that is nice, what you really want to see is video. So let's go to the Apple webpage. Always has a lot going on. And you can see, even with all these images, scrolling is fast and instantaneous. We'll even go somewhere else, brand new web page. And once again, scrolling with a lot going on, fast and inst instant. So let's go back to the Apple page and let's watch a video. I think with great intent, you disconnect from the past. If you never change anything, then what you can really engineer is kind of incremental. But when you're willing to change things, then you kind of open up a whole new world of design. As you can see, we're using less than one megabit per second as a download speed. That means you can be in a rural area, you can be in a classroom with very limited bandwidth, you can be on the local network or over the WAN. And no matter where you are or what type of bandwidth you have, you basically can get a local desktop experience. This is pretty amazing stuff, and we're excited to show it to you. Now let's go to YouTube and the notoriously bandwidth-heavy Flash. So with Dish's new hop, now we can record six shows at the same time. See? I And there you go, flash video, audio video completely in sync. So that's that, but now what we want to show you, application compatibility. For years, people have asking, been asking us to support iMovie, GarageBand, and Final Cut. Because of the RDP protocol and how it worked, we were unable to do so. But now with AAP, it's a whole new world. So we'll go here in this video we imported, and do a little editing, a little playing. See how it works. There you go. iMovie now works. You can edit videos, audio. You can basically use all the applications you normally would in an experience that feels like a local desktop session. It's what we've been trying to accomplish for years, and now we have the ability to do so. AAP is also available in the client form for Windows machines, iOS, Android, and Linux. So that means you can connect from pretty much anything, run the Mac desktop experience, 
and use it as a local machine as you normally would. No matter where you are or where the servers are located, we can now provide you the local Mac OS X desktop experience anywhere and at any time. We look forward to showing you this in your environment and welcoming some new customers. Thanks, guys.